turn, baby. What it do? Season three. Let's go. Run it, run it, run it, run hey. it. Hey. Pull up the fellas. We highlight propellers. Yeah, yeah. Grab the mic, speak your mind. It'll help you. Yeah, yeah. Ask a man you want to know. We gon' tell you. Yeah, yeah. Side hey. do chronicles. Season got the three. Do jelly. Hey. Like, pull up. Pull up. Pull up. What you gon' do? Hey. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. We gon' act the fool. Hey. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. What you gon' do? Hey. Pull up. Hey. You ready? Cause we coming straight to you. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> Pull up to my bumper, baby. Baby. Boy, Kyle. <laughs> Central bumper, baby. Nah, TC. Nah, be real. You know it's a motherfucking kill. Central. Shit, <laughs> TC got four kills on, 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 on. I got a fleet of kills. Got God damn it. Man, it don't make hey, no hey, hey, do it again, uh, VIP. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Pull up to my bumper, baby. Beep, beep. Hey, what kind? Discovery bumper, baby. <laughs> In that biz <laughs> at the crib, goddamn. You know where they at, goddamn. I'm dusty than a motherfucker. Don't worry about it. That I bitch look brown. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Pull Up Maybe. Podcast. What it do? What it do? What's happening? That's right. That's right. Hey, we decided we get together. We have all. Oh, these epic conversations. Yes, sir. We put some mics in front of our faces, what and guess gonna, what? What we gonna do? We are gonna help you with them changes, hey. Heard me? Let's start that roll call off to my right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy VIP, the very intelligent player. What it do, world? I'm messing up shit. <laughs> it's all good though. <laughs> baby, 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 okay. baby. My apologies. It's the deacon is back. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Deacon. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Saints, family, friends, women of God, boys, girls, children, your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, uh, your mammies, Man, your pappies. He said that. All of them. Oh. All that. It's your boy, the deacon. Hello. The deacon. 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 <laughs> it's your boy, Coach TC in the building. Coach TC. Coach TC. Shit. <laughs> I'm lashing out today because shit ain't go right today. So, FTK. Fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that, and I'm standing on it. He's standing on it. You're a terrible coach. Hours. He's standing. For 24 on. hours. I Good evening, that. ladies and gents. It's your boy. One bottle, two sips. <laughs> Yogi the Great. Dominic. Yogi. Ter- Dominic Toretta Yogi. You damn right. I just can't wear them uh, tank tops all day. Hey, my brother. <laughs> And it's your boy uh, KB. K Bizzle. K Bizzle. Official. Bizzle. Official. Yes, With the sir. whistle. Like a referee to whistle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's been going on, fellas? Technical file. Everything. Everything been going on, man. We got JT over here eating snacks and shit. For real, How right? Oh, loud on the mic. Man, I, I apologize. You know, this, you know, I had a long day. This is my stay alive. Is Them right? kids, yeah. pop. This is the return, though. Yeah, for real. You it's know? the return of the pull up pocket. We've been gone for a minute. Hold on, hold on, bro. Wait, I, wait, what, what's good? It's something I missed. It's something I missed. What you missed? I forgot to Shout run that. Shout out to promo. the criminals. I forgot to run that. Let me run that pro- promo for 36 seconds. <laughs> Let me run that shit. There you go. Y'all check that promo out. It's a pull up. It's the return. Shots out, Jeremiah. Yeah. That Shout out to the chat. Outside to the chat. Uh, yeah. Why it look like the deacon smoking on this promo? Look at yeah, him. Yeah, he got his hand up there. Yeah, he got his head up there. That good green. Uh huh. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, that were you. I that were you. you. I think you. No, I was putting one of these in my mouth. That's yeah, all okay. oh. yeah. you got your butterflies. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Butterfly. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a butterfly. Man. I like it real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But nah, man, what's been good with everybody? But before we get into that, y'all know we gotta uh, give a give a shout out to the folks in the back. Oh yeah, you know who, what I'm saying? Who, who we got in the back? You no, know, we know he may be right here, but shout out to atmosphere. Atmosphere, atmosphere. atmosphere. Oh, that boy, LV, atmosphere in the building. We I, don't see him, but I know he see us. He hiding on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> He's God somewhere around. Damn, here. you done put him on the roof. <laughs> and again, boy, we gotta give a big thanks to that guy down that grill, man. TC, what he did, man? He did that shit. Oh, my God. Yard bird is ready. That yard bird make you want to slap your mama, boy. Ow! 
And he go by the name of That That Guy guy. Yeah, that's right Chicken and ribs Meaty Meaty That's gonna be the name of the goddamn restaurant Who else gonna pull up on us? Hey man, we got the lovely The lovely Miss Brianna Ingram Jacques, did I say that right? It's really just Brianna Jacques. You heard it here first. She's yeah. like, don't hyphenate yeah, me. Yeah, I put Ingram on Facebook so people who know me about it, but yeah, that's no longer know my me. name according to my social security card. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Miss Brianna yes, Jacques. Yes. Yes. Miss Jacques. A return guest, yes. of course, yes. right? Thank y'all for yeah. having me. It's the return with a return guest. Right. We, Thank you. We appreciate you yeah. coming back. <laughs> and we've definitely been repping you as far as, uh, uh, you know, that ad. We play your ad like crazy. I hear. Okay. Like my next door neighbor, she said, "You Brianna?" I said, "Yeah." Hop she one. said, "You was on the pull up podcast?" I said, "Yeah." But y'all she watched y'all. Pull-up. Y'all see that? Someone y'all from the that? chat. Someone yeah. from the Shout chat. Miss Brianna to Fran know. For, for being a faithful viewer of the pull yes. up. Appreciate yes. that. Are, are you French? Someone Me? from the someone from the chat wants oui. to know: Are you? French? Oh no, my husband is Haitian. Stop! I say my fool. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know yeah, nothing, yeah. but nothing. <laughs> hey, Hop, she said her husband. <laughs> hey, speaking of she Haitian, shouts out to what Rondo man. <laughs> Two point five for, for the, the condo. condo. Yeah, they was think I played ball. They call me Rondo. Rondo. Yeah. Speak that Haitian, brother. Suck a fit. It is. <laughs> man, it's been a minute, though, It's been right? a minute, man. It's been a while, it's man. Been, it's been a whole a lot minute. of stuff been going down, man. For real. People dying. People getting indicted. I mean... It's, it's like, some positive stuff that's been happening, too. <laughs> like what? You got some positive news, yeah, my positive friend? Yogi. What, what's uh, some you got positive something positive, man? brother? Let me go get You're my buzzer. Mello, ready, what up? Um, as of now... Right about now. Damn. <laughs> Bruce Austin, 19. What? It's no longer Not single. Heavy. 9, 13. Hey, baby. That's oh. my baby in the background. What? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, hold wait, on, wait hold a on. goddamn minute. Now. Yeah, okay. Hey, but I, I must say, confess, I, with her uh, approval and her blessing, the side do chronicles will carry on. That was my next question. It yeah. will carry on. I will still bring you that fuck shit. Yo, we, <laughs> understand we this. That's There's all a, we ask for. I, the gimmick so, is so still people him. don't understand. I mean, so people understand. Bruce is Bruce. Yogi is Yogi. Okay. Two, I mean, I'm, I'm two, two different, different entities. Gimmicks. But yo, you know, I think that warrants a, a pause real quick because you know them them chronicles can run deep sometime. Woman of God, you think you're handling them chronicles? Well, <laughs> now that. now I, I gotta you know I gotta be a bit more respectful. Okay, you know, and I gotta be a little bit more cautionary with my response in regards to what I'm speaking on. Well, okay. well, be that as it may, the <laughs> essay back to school essay side dude chronicles <laughs> contest is still going on. No, <laughs> until that, the month of October. No, no that's it. First that, prize. That's it. Once again, the first day of school. First <laughs> prize. Once again, is a backpack jam sport for the kid, a trapper keeper, and a 2000 Isuzu Trooper. Ah, damn. With a full tank of gas. <laughs> The best essay for Mr. Yogi Side Dude Chronicles Back to School Essay Contest. And it's still going on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, as you can see, she is sitting behind him. So he gets wrong. The hat may get popped off. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And speaking of hats topping off, shout out to the folks in Alabama, man. Alabama. The bra. The Montgomery. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. You talking about the bat sign. <laughs> <laughs> the chairman of the board. <laughs> ain't ain't no folded chairs in this house. For real. Yeah, for get real. rid of them whole. I got one in the trunk. We're well, real quick though. <laughs> Y'all bullshitting. This I got you one. Take it to the trunk. How you won't do it? We took that shit right to the game. Just in case shit popped off. Hey. God damn. Yeah, nigga, take it to the trunk. <laughs> Go look at that bit. But while we was with while, a pad while, on it, while we were doing all this uh, googly stuff, you know what I'm saying with relationships, I like to give a shout out to my wife. You know what I'm saying? She made the president's list in school, man. I got to give her. Okay. Her, okay. I got to give her a shout out, awesome man. Shout out. Let's, okay. let's, let's get it. To you. Shout let's out to Miss G. Miss G. McLaurin. We oh. appreciate you, baby. Hey, Miss G. McLaurin. Everybody is somebody. <laughs> <laughs> 
Got Mongo Tony on now. that test, goddamn it. Tony. Times in our life. What, 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 what test, test was that? The minimum basic skills test. <laughs> <laughs> Means they can hardly read. <laughs> VIP singing oh, to her before she takes it to some hey, times man. in G-G-G. our life. <laughs> hey. We all have friends. Hey, hey, man. Let's get on to it. We, gotta... we, we need to get on to the interview. Bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we doing the interview in this segment? Bring it right back. I'm telling you, we doing it in this segment or we bring it back in the next segment? We can bring it back in the next okay, segment. Okay, cool. Shout out to Crumb. Well, we got a couple more minutes in this segment, man. Uh, uh, let's see. What what happened in my life? Let's see. Yeah, what's up with you, what's KB? Rico. Let me see. I miss you, KB. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate really? It. Really? Uh, Man, I got a vasectomy a month ago. Uh uh-uh. uh. Man, yes, what? I did. Man, what the? Oh, in the blue hell? Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. The prices were too high, you had to cut it, huh? Hey, look. What? Them babies cost too much, you need to cut, cut it. it. Yeah. Shout out to KB. It cost too much, you need to cut it. You don't give a damn, hey, ain't no mistake. Ain't no wrong with that, my brother. Listen here. I, I know I only got one. That's but, enough. But I'll be 45 in a couple of months, man. I ain't about to be chasing no churn around at 45 that. years old. So you like the you like the cream pie. <laughs> Man, what I like Rare is my, form yoga. What I like, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like side dude right there. Yeah. Uh, what I like is my goddamn business. How about that? Mm-hmm. Uh, the the point of that is, I made a decision. Right. And that shit's done. I, I, I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> but Did you pray on it? You know, hey, <laughs> hey, as a fellow Scorpio, you know, I had to ask. Yeah, okay. I got you. I, got, I appreciate that, though. Okay. So so trying, now I appreciate it. So, yo, you trying to say since he, y'all, he's a fellow Scorpio that his uh, stinger's been clipped off? Mm-hmm. No, that stinger ain't gone, bro. Watch your mouth now. Hey, uh, it, it just ain't got no venom in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Defamed. Hey, it's been defamed. My stinger's blast stay. Woo! <laughs> oh lord. No, yeah. it was uh, it was for different reasons. Just to not, it's not necessarily not having kids, but yeah, I you know what I'm saying. No, I'm sorry. You I, know, I, you know, uh, we had a high risk pregnancy. He came up way early, about. Six months he came and oh, wow. it was it was pretty rough. Couldn't even get a tubes tied. It was just that bad. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, we ain't finna. You play know what I'm saying? Like, I got a few hundred dollars. I can go over here and get this done. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? Shout it wasn't out. as bad as I thought it was. Shout out to I, that I money. I just hope hope you don't come out like Peter Guns. He got snipped and he still had a baby. Hey, hey, hey! Amazing. I mean, they already they checking the count and everything. So you know, I got to take samples every once in a while. Lashawn, you know quit lying. All you, you got to do is no drink some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew kill all them babies. <laughs> what the hell you just call me? I, no, I'm talking about Lashawn okay. in the chat. All right. Yeah, I we got to get on on the night. It was crazy that this is my middle name, bro. Bro. Oh damn, it's spelled bad. exactly the same way, bro. She just she got a little newborn over there. Talking mm. about she didn't have a vasectomy. She knows she's lying. I know how a woman have a vasectomy. <laughs> oh, somebody had a vasectomy. Is she you crazy? Lying. What is they cutting? I know they cut. The, I mean, the, the, they got they the burn them too. You know what it's called, man. man if lying. they cut their clitoris, oh, it's, it's something. Ain't that right. man ain't had no vasectomy. That baby is young. <laughs> <laughs> His soldiers marched on, goddamn it. Quit lying. <laughs> Y'all gonna quit coming on this internet, goddamn being characters and whoever you wanna be, goddamn. Oh, Tell yeah. the truth. <laughs> Outside of KB. T- KB ain't lying, LaShawn ain't lying. lying. I ain't lying. I seen her ass at the hospital. I, I got lie. it done. I man. got the footage. I got it done. Don't look at me like that. I got it done. I seen her ass. I'm all coming right. Out that good. goddamn hospital. Hey, listen, I ain't worried about the KB, cause you know if it be my my good master's will He gonna open up the floodgates and Open the <laughs> floodgates I don't know And he gonna feel the wound Man, feel the wound. Hey the urologist I went to man he, he he like 70 years old He over in Altamont Springs This old dude Dr. Woods I think his name is And he was like This dude man He almost made me not do it You know what I'm saying Cause he was like Okay go ahead and drop him I was like Right now, he was like, yeah, go ahead and drop him. He's like, man, you think I ain't never had another man but hands in my, balls in my hands? I was like, bruh. <laughs> You're a little too comfortable. I though. know, way too comfortable with this right. job. You're like, I've been doing this for so, 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 yeah, I'm seven Time years you to go, old. Nigga. Yeah, but uh, he was cool. He he did it quickly, man. He just had a whole conversation with me. And I was like, you know, 20 minutes later, he was like, I'm done, bruh. Damn. Yeah. Nigga, don't be talking to me, man. <laughs> so, be asleep. <laughs> that, now, see, that was my next question. So, why he was doing it, you know, why he was viewing your boss. Mm-hmm. Was he trying to have a conversation? Absolutely, they were. He said not doing the viewing, but doing the operation. Yes, yeah. 
Mr. Well, Mr. Ben, they feel all right. Um, so okay, that feel hey, little- man, look, the, the dude is a professional. He knows what he's doing. You understand so what I'm saying? So what you think about them Cowboys? You understand you? that guy? <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like that. We, what about them Cowboys, though, you know? Man, first of all, don't talk about us. Don't no, I was just throwing don't that out there. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. As, 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 we'll as talk about the Cowboys while he's working on my ball. Man, come on, <laughs> bro. I don't like I Georgia. I don't like I don't like anything from Georgia. Hey. Real quick before we go. You know we had this whole thing. We got women in the building. Is so that I right? Like, I would like to ask. I thought I saw a Fulton County tag out there. Okay. You damn sure did. <laughs> there you go. And there you have it, folks. Shout out to them. <laughs> but now nah, we got women go. in the building and we all had a little thing going on on our, on the Instagram asking people about uh friend zones and who's in control of the friend zone man or a woman yeah, and I would like to get a question from our guests real quick before we go to commercial and come back with the interview Miss Brianna who's in control of the friend zone the man or the woman man or the woman I mean before I was a married woman I did live my life and I'm gonna say I was in charge there you go. I feel the same. I think go. the women got the. I don't think the I head. ever seen a dude in charge of the I disagree. Uh oh. I disagree. Is bullshit anyway. Well, Only maybe one. <laughs> in most cases, uh-huh. most women run that situation. But why but would you want to be a, a woman? If you have a manipulative friend? man that is a womanizer, he run that. Why would you want to be a woman? I feel friend, like a woman bro. runs it how, until. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Find out. Hold on. Hold like on, how the women say they know their worth. Men know his worth a little bit more. Hold on, hint. The CEO of the side dude, Crocker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Again, I ask, why do you need a woman in the I mean, that, friend? That, that opens up a whole can of worms because, you know, it depends on who that friend is. We talking about, we a married couple, we got married friends or... We, I'm a married couple. No, my we friend's talking about, single. No, we talking about See, this. Deacon, you always never mind. <laughs> <laughs> always hey, no, no. Well, he's right. I mean, from a, yeah, I mean, from yeah, a certain I never said. I never said. And, and Miss Brianna is also right. Women do run that relationship only because women feel totally different than men do. You know, we might give thirty percent of our effort in that situation. A woman will give probably maybe thirty percent. Yes, of what. Because our attention span it, is like a dog. Uh, you well, speak for yourself, well, Again, I'm going to ask, I'm gonna ask <laughs> this question one more time. What speak the hell? I, mean, I, can't lie. I, can't, I can't agree with you on that. What the it's, hell would I need a woman as my friend so for? Are you, well, you, are you never had asking no that because you don't think men and women can be friends? Because I it, came into my marriage I, and I'm still friends with guys. Hey, and my man. husband is okay oh, with that. Hell no. Hey, but man. My, me mean, asking that? No, no. I was just asking. No, I'm talking about him because he keeps saying, why would he need a female friend? Absolutely. What we going to do? He he one of the men that say my, my woman my yeah, woman can't have no male friends. I have male friends. They I mean one of them came over my house, he watched basketball with my husband, and I woke up the next morning, he was on my couch because he couldn't drive home. That that's I mean, cool. I don't I don't hey, know. Hey, I, like hey, that. I believe a, women can have male friends leadership. outside of that relationship. But I don't I don't believe that men can have women friends. I feel like a a, 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 a female friend of me. a man in a relationship is uh, uh, a female he was just trying to get at. I disagree. Nigga be trying I, to I really, I That's I My guy friends are married. They in relationships. We Why? don't even. Well, all talk y'all about need to be friends like, together. <laughs> I mean, now my husband he did tell me he doesn't he doesn't have female friends. So guess what? He can't never come home and say. He I got a female a, friend. Like he can't do that because he said he, he know himself. He can't do that, and that's so, and, it's and that's why I believe that. Yeah. I believe that because I feel exactly the same way your husband feels. <laughs> hey, like, but what I if he? I'm said, not, mm. I got my niggas. What if he was and my bro? Okay, for example, say you know that was something he said early into your relationship, but he can tr- transition and change. He is and, a truck and, driver. What woman he need to be friends them, with? Them lot lizards. Nah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the blind lizards. Cool. Yeah. What up, boy? They slithering. Wow, like I said before, when we had this conversation, I have female friends, and I don't look at them as attractive yeah. at uh-huh. all. You Until they saying? put your ass in that position. Hey, nah, see, it ain't going to be nah, no shock. I, I agree gets, with them. Who gets put in that position? No, nah, I was. It'll happen. But, it can happen. No, but I, I, I had a female friend, like I told my old girl, for 14 years. Mm-hmm. We messed around early in a relationship, but. Um, like I told her, like around this time, me and her fell out last year. 
Yeah, but, but see, the thing is, you already messed around. See, with y'all, them. yeah, exactly. I've Played never awkward. messed with this person but, or these but, people. But listen, to what I'm you know saying. What I'm saying? But what happens one day when she want to mess with you? The sexual attraction is it's, there, but it was no never, you know, taken you know advantage of from either party. No matter. You know, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying, why well, put yourself in a situation where you know the there's a sexual attraction between you and this female? And then you still right on. on you know, so when when you're single, you're more available to the what if. Okay. Variable. All right. Let me tell you something. All right, Marvel. What if? Yeah. Get right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Deacon, right. What you don't feel be on about that it, bullshit. Deacon, right? Deacon, what you feel about it? Deacon don't know nothing about it. Call. Deacon said he I can't mean, have if no that's your movie. friend. <laughs> I mean, I. He calling you 11 o'clock at night. I, I, I would say... Um, going through something. Sim- simply because of past experiences, because I, I done shared with you, you know, right. with, with, with my ex. I done had her homegirls come, you know, sit right in front of me and start playing with her stuff. Yeah. And she laying in the room. Then I had another friend come. What? Pop up, you know. You had three Deacon, and one day. Deacon's hey. Exotic Tales over hey, there. Tell, tell <laughs> these people what's your name. Man, no. Hush. Man, the deacon. Hush. The deacon. Hush. The deacon. Hush. Hush. The deacon. Hush. Exotic Hey, with tales. that, we're going to go to break. Hey, we're going to go to break. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The exotic That's right. Tales hey, hey, pull up, everybody. Oh, wow. Do you need any electrical work done? Be it big or small, contact Oh Wow Electric on the World Wide Web at www.owowelectric.com where you can book your consultation and ask any questions you may have. Let us wow you today. In need of a haircut for your lawn, that is, a little pruning, trimming here or there, edging, or even general maintenance, contact Cosmotology Lawn and Maintenance today at 877-465-6367. Additional services available by request. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pull Up Podcast. Listen, without further ado, we have a special guest in the building. Who we got in the building VIP real quick? We got Miss Brianna Jock. Yes, sir. We ain't playing around no more. Like, don't, yes, don't, sir. Don't hyphenate me. Yeah, I would not. She said she I is not a not. law firm. Don't hyphenate her name. She, she is not said, a law firm. Meet me in the trap. It's so going down. down. So check it out. Meet she going to she, she going to enlighten us a little bit on the new law that just got passed recently. And um, you know y'all in the chat, y'all got any questions? Go ahead and throw them out there. Maybe we can get a answer for you, Miss Brianna. Man, we got good the balls, balls in your court. All right. So first, thank y'all so much for having me for a second time. I didn't even know y'all hadn't been airing, so I think I kind of feel special that y'all invited me back. Oh, yeah. Um, after the vacation. first time, when I left here, I actually went to the emergency room and I was in the hospital for a few weeks because yeah. I was so sick. Oh, but man. I'm not wow. sick this time, thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> you aired me, but anyway, um, so as most of you again. guys know, I am the owner, CEO of Omni Consulting. Um, so what I do is family law, but I am not a lawyer. What I do is I help people to navigate the legal system without the need to pay all of those expen- expensive attorney fees. Mm. Um, my bread and butter is helping men to navigate the court system so that they can obtain court orders to see their children without baby mama drama. Um, And then also, I used to work for the state of Florida for quite some time. So in that process, if somebody is on child support, I can usually get them off or is significantly low, Mm. uh, a low amount that they will pay. Um, I also do divorces, legal guardianship, name changes, um, anything that's related to family law I can assist you with plus some other stuff if you call me and I can help you I promise I'm gonna help gotcha. um, so related to the law um, on July the 1st of 2023 our governor who is not a lot of our friends but he did pass a law <laughs> that benefits men um, but the law that passed is kind of vague so basically what the law states because previous to July the 1st If a man was on the birth certificate for a child, it actually established zero parental rights. So the man could legally not make uh, decisions concerning how to raise his child. Now, I want people to know that that law does not give men 50-50. I've had so many people call me saying, I get 50-50. Now, that is not what the law means. So parental rights in 
the 50-50 that men are talking about, parental rights and time sharing are two separate things in a court. You get a right to make decisions for your child, but guess what? You still have to go to court because the Santas did not define your parental rights. So you still need a court system to help you define those. Now, I'm glad for the law because it got me even more clients. Um, but out of the 700 and something people that I've helped, I never had a client not be able to see their kid um, when they were done. But now I just know that the court is going to side without them having to go through so many complications. So now when I'm able to explain that law to people, they kind of feel a little better because a lot of men... Um, especially our color they come into my office already feeling defeated before we even start but now I'm able to tell them well listen the state of Florida is actually on your side you just need to know what to do and how to do it and that's why you need me gotcha <laughs> like, can what I ask up? you a quick question AT, what, up? Uh, like, what, up? what percentage of your clients are men about 90% of my, oh my clients God. are men so you saying there's like, like a lot of dudes out there that's, that's willing to be fathers it's a whole lot of men out here Trying willing to be me fathers. Fathers. And then what I do, because like I say all the time, I'm a mom and I was a single mom. So my business is not to get men off the hook for child support. So when men call me, I kind of do like a little interview. And depending on how they answer the questions, then I tell them how to help them. But I'm not going to lie. If you call me and all you care about is child support, I'm going to tell you to contact Department of Revenue to help you because that's not I want to. I want men to be with their kids and kids to be with their dads because, you know, the community seems like our color. Um, We're at a disadvantage because that's not what happens. So for some reason, people think that you can only be a family if the mom and the daddy are together. I don't want people to be together just because they have kids Mm because people really don't be liking each other. And then the kids, they live in that toxicity for their entire lives where their mom and daddy don't even get along. But... The mama don't have to talk to the daddy. The daddy don't have to talk to the mama. You can have a court order. The mama just need to have a child where they need to be. You don't I, even I, have to go to the mama's house. You can have a perfect life with, with, with separated parents. I, I, I lived that. I grew up in that situation. So, nah. You know what I'm saying? I think when it comes to kids, they need both their, they their parents. You know what I'm saying? For different reasons. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, right. man, like, look. I, but the law in Florida believes that, too. For, I know. So... Men that, especially if you already got put on child support, the child support people don't care about you or the baby mama. Um, the best interest that they do is in what's in the best interest of the state. So if you go to child support court and you telling them, but judge, y'all want me to pay all this, I don't even get to see my kid. Then people don't care about that at mm. all. So people who especially already on child support, they be like, they don't even listen to me. It's because you telling the wrong person. Mm. You have to go and file that in the court in the state of Florida that's separate child support and seeing your kid you can pay for a kid that you never seen a day in your life as long as they prove that the DNA said it's you the daddy they don't care if you never see your child it's up to you to take the step so that you can see your child and it but should that's be why up to I come them. in it should be up to Ebony them. I need to see my daughter <laughs> oh no Ebony <laughs> I know right <laughs> You ebony took the hey, right out of the way. Ebony. I mean, I, I will get no, He is not I, trying to look in her eyes. He I wants heard, to see his child. I, I heard a I heard another another well, it was another conversation I stumbled across. And they said, um, what would you think it would be like here in America if we adopted some of the laws that some of these other countries have? Like, for for example, I think it's India. It's India is one. Ebony. Um and Dubai. It. It's illegal. To have a child without being married. So listen, y'all go back and look at the Florida laws. They just made it legal in 2016. State of Florida just didn't. uh, Obviously, they didn't press the issue. But up until 2016, it was illegal. I appreciate it. What's the sample? Go look it up. Miss Brianna, what's the sample question that you asked? She was on that. that that And I threw the country in the eye there to throw her off. But she was on it. I mean, because I already know the law. India, yeah. it is true. You can't even live with somebody if you're not married. You can't have a child. Oh, well, shacking right? is but our law. Th- in some states, that's Shacken. actually a law, too. They just, because the times have changed, yeah, and well, we I mean, make it seem like that's be normal. You absolutely surprised at how many laws that are still on the books that Correct. don't get <laughs> recognized. There's some, there's some laws in the books that you, don't a get bunch enforced. of us in this room can't... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, in today's society, it's what benefits. It's, it's what laws are beneficial to what parties. Correct. 
and, well, and we, we, we said we you know yeah, uh, exactly. We are not. Uh, we are not going there right now. Uh, what the hell? Know. We are not going what, there. Right what now. is a sample question that you ask one of the fathers when they call? Um, so this is how the conversation go usually. I answer the phone and then they call and say, Hey, I got your number from such and such. They told me you can help me. The pull up podcast. Uh, right. I'll be like, Okay, well, explain your situation. <laughs> so everybody swear that their situation is the worst situation ever. So I let them believe that while we on the phone. I but swear to God it's, it's really worse. nothing new <clears throat> under the sun. Everybody be mama be tripping. Oh Lord. <laughs> but that is what they say. But I will correct them and say, No, we're not gonna talk about the girl like that. Yes. Because I'm a woman too. So I'm pretty sure my baby did to say that when you talk about me. <laughs> but that's another topic. Um, so nonetheless, I asked them to explain their situation and I let them talk. Um, and then I say, okay, because I don't really care about that stuff because I already know what I need to do, really. So then I say, okay, well, what's the relationship like with you and a child? I promise y'all, 95% of people say, oh, me and her not together no more. No, not you and the baby mama. What's the relationship with you and the child? Mm. If they say, well, I really want to get my child, but she won't let me, or she let me get my child when she feel like it, but I, I'm not going to lie. I had somebody say, oh, well, I don't really see the kid. And then I'll say, okay, because a lot of people don't get to see the kid. I'll say, okay, well, do you want to see the kid? One dude said, no, nah, I don't. I just don't want to pay child support. And oh, I told man. him, unfortunately, yeah, that's I'm not going to be able to help you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's he tried. was straight up like that. He was, but oh. he said that uh, he was the baby mama was putting him on child support, Damn. but he wanted to sign away his rights. And I don't, what? I don't do that. Oh, yes, dang. I know how to do it, but nobody cannot because that's not the goal of my business. I got morals. I don't old. want to be responsible for a child not having a dad and at I, all. And legally. I applaud your morality like that. that. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people ain't got Big morals up. and. You know what I'm saying? No, I, don't I know do they say stuff like "fuck them kids." Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> today, today I'm on that type of time. You got them right. Fuck sure. them today, goddamn. Well, I, tomorrow I, they all right. I definitely have to say, Miss Brianna, I, I've heard from people who've called you, come up to me and be like, "Oh man, that Miss Brianna, man, she has so much knowledge, stuff that we don't even know about." So, really? we'd like to salute you for that. For and that I always tell time. people just. Trust the process. That's one of my favorite because it's a process. It's still a legal process, whether you like to go to the court or not. It's still a legal process, but you have to trust the process and just trust what I'm saying. So, no, I'm not a lawyer. I would never tell somebody not to hire a lawyer. I might say, if you want to see your child, I don't know why you need a lawyer, but if you fight a felony, yeah, by all means, hire who you need to hire. But the law is geared for men to win they just have to go and do it it's the wow. effort it's the effort Correct. Behind, right? so you uh, would you real? agree that a lot of men don't put the effort in and definitely i i, I worked for child support for seven years and mm-hmm. by 98 well i'll say 95 percent of people they just take men liquor. and women who pay child support they so, deserve yeah. to pay mm-hmm. because if the law didn't tell them to they would, they would not mm-hmm. but the five percent of good men are who I try to help because they can't make a system to only benefit five percent of people got a in a government in chat, yo, setting. Got a question in the chat, okay? For Miss Brianna, uh, let me. I read it. I read it. I said, "What if he told her he didn't want kids? She got pregnant and kept the child. Just asking." Yeah, that's your business because you shouldn't have been having unprotected mm. sex with the woman if you didn't want kids because you already knew what the repercussions are going to be and the law doesn't care about that. So I-, I get it. That's a moral thing, right? right? And I ain't really trying to debate and argue, but this is how the law sees it. Yep. I can't put my opinion in it, but the law sees it. Like, there's still a child out here that has to be taken care of. Y'all two responsible, well, irresponsible adults So whatever y'all was doing, you made a child. You should have got, got man, snipped. That, and that. Blackout, they're going to... Man, 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 listen. <laughs> and Blackout... Yeah, man, hold listen. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Miss Brianna, you ain't had to point at me when he said that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm going to say is this. Man, blackout. I put my business out blackout, there on my black, own. <laughs> blackout. Man, listen. Blackout, they're going to be up but, there saying, you're not a real man because you don't take care of your responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going to say, hey, Blackout, Shout look, I got that vasectomy. It was no problem. You understand what I'm saying? But then even in that situation... Think about the child. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely we see go it through things. As, I don't know about y'all, but I had, yeah, I went through some stuff growing up. You know, that's psychological to it. The child doesn't Dude, deserve child, that. Child the up. baby did not ask to be born. It's no, not yeah. fair Absolutely for the not. child. It's not. So, one person, he gave me this same scenario. And what I told him is, okay, well, just go ahead and let your baby mom put you on child support. And then you just don't worry about seeing the kid. 
I mean, uh, another he agreed. He another said, part okay. of that is like, look, man, wow, you spend man. some time with the kid, and you'll care. I agree. You, you, should. you should. It's your blood. It's yeah. your seed. How can it, you not? Exactly. Oh, t- take it from somebody. Yes, I got a vasectomy, but yes, before I got that vasectomy, I had a kid. Right, I had a kid at forty-two mm-hmm. years old. The prop. The thing is that I, I didn't realize how depressed I was mm-hmm. because I didn't hadn't already had a child. Right, and when it came about, when I look at him every day, you know, yeah, he he two years old, and he, you know, he in the terrible twos. But gosh, man, I I can't imagine a world without him. Yeah. Absolutely not. Big facts. Big facts. Big facts. Yes. And my clients, I, y'all, they they genuinely love their children. I'm not saying a couple of them don't slip through the cracks do and come, but they genuinely love. I have had grown men sit in front of me and boo who cry because all they want to see is their children. Mm. Wow. But also what I want y'all to know, if you do file legal documents, even though it's a process you have to go through, there's a motion that you can file where you can actually still get your children while you're going through the process. Because it's inevitable that you're going to get your kids. Um, You just have to wait for the process to be final. But just know, you know, I have some people that haven't seen their children in years. I just give them this particular motion and they can get it. I could not imagine somebody keeping my kids away from me. I know that's right. And when I first started, I used to say, I can't let somebody go that long without... But as I talk to more people, women hide the kids women are really just nasty like that and Absolutely. most men really don't they think I got to save up all this money I worked hard for and go pay this lawyer all this money I get people that be like oh well, I was just calling you because somebody gave me your number but I'm saving up for a lawyer after they talk to me they come book with me they don't yeah. you don't need a lawyer yeah, all you need right. to do is know how to do the paperwork so I got a personal question know for the you alright all right. my personal question doesn't have to deal with a child but it does deal with a a, a form of marriage okay (laughs) you know what I'm saying and it does deal with um, well here's the here's the scenario I bought a car with my Mm ex-wife mhm okay and my ex-wife will not come down to Florida sign the title and, and, and take the title over and get me off the title did you put it in your dissolution no, that, that, I did well, not. That's and, your problem. And, but it's a motion you can file to get that done. And, I, and I'm just trying to look for the right yeah, motion it's, to file. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I can tell you. Is that something you can help me it with? It is. Okay, cool. But you, you're supposed to clear that up in the dissolution, in your, you know, paperwork. You but just, it's okay. It's a motion I guess you can file you just, to like, for me, I, I hope that she will, you know, be happy with, hey, here's this car. You keep this car. Uh, I would pay. Uh, nope. I paid it off. You know what I'm saying? But her thing is like, no, I'm not going to come down there and do that. And that, like, for instance, she doesn't pay insurance on the car. They come mm-hmm. after my license because my name is first. And it's just been mm-hmm. over and over So when again. I tell people, because they the people who come to my office with me to assist with divorces, this is man or woman. Yes, y'all were married. Obviously, She's something happened. Now y'all not going to be together. Mm-hmm. You can't trust nothing about this person because y'all about to be separated. You got to So I'm trying to That's the kind of stuff I ask about Do y'all have a car together A house together Have y'all bought anything Because I make sure That all that's listed Even when I do uh, To help the men With their kids Some people Don't even realize The importance of a passport And how the baby mama Control that By yeah. not wanting to sign it what? Or the baby daddy Because that's my That's another mama. story But that's I crazy. add that To my court order That both parties Will sign for the child To get a passport Because just because you're mad at the baby mama and the baby daddy, why you want to stop the child from experiencing life? Yes. I even put, the the you going to claim your child on taxes every other year. Women some people don't think petty. about that. No, men are petty too. Because I, have, I have some clients when I ask them about the passport, oh, y'all petty they be like, no. TC, hold up. Let us say, because oh. I'm, 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 I got a response to what she's going to say. They petty first. No, hold up, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. What I was going to say about the passport? Yeah, no, but the fathers being petty in regards to the taxes. Oh, no, 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 not the taxes. The fathers are petty she's regarding the period. passport. Because even my clients, when I get to that question, they be like, nah, I don't want, I don't want her, I don't want to sign the passport so she could travel. I be like, is it that you don't want her to travel or you don't want your child to travel? Most of the time, I can persuade men to say you know what no problem but the men that owe $25,000 in back child support they don't care if their mama don't travel they they just don't want no passport for nobody because they can't get one 
Petty. Petty. Petty Murphy. But what's your question? I No, I should have kept my Ooh. baby mama on child support. Yeah. I, I think I told I, you that the last time. Yeah, I stopped that shit a long time ago. <laughs> that, Blackout Customs said I, just I didn't want to. I, I didn't want my baby mama to stop living or, or trying to, to improve her life. To, to care for her other kids. No, that's good. But so, did she really do it? Was she a, a, a better mom to those kids? I can't respond to that because oh. I, you know I want to respond fairly, and I don't okay, want to yeah, her don't any do kind it. of dirty okay, right. laundry out there to her. Did so. she do the best she could? Let's I, say I that. don't know. Oh, okay, I, I, I stopped communication with her. I respect her family. I talk to her family okay. more so than her. Y'all because, ain't friends. Hell no, nah, we better not be. I mean, but that's that's a noble thing. But it's mm-hmm. women who do the same for me, and they'll take I'm their baby daddies off of child support to give them a fair chance. I'm trying to make another baby with my last baby mom. All right, well, uh, well, blackout, what? The, blackout custom said maybe he went through something uh, that that's why he didn't want to have kids with the lady. And then after that, he said just playing devil's advocate. Uh, advocate. Hold on, say it again. Advocate. <laughs> I said it wrong. Yeah, advocate. <laughs> I got three badass boys, but he loves them. African. He loves them to death. He loves them to death. Mm-hmm. African. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh. LaShawn Terry say taxes only work if you got split custody of even time. The taxes can only be done if the child lived with the parents six months or more. So Unless after, you have an that order conclusion. that supersedes Woo! that. That's mm. what I have. Because Supersedes. if the judge says that the dad can claim the child, then he can. It doesn't have to be 50%. Because I have where a dad will get 30 or 40%, but the judge put in the order that he can claim his kids Preach. every other year. Preach. And that supersedes. That it supersedes does. that. You get that Big red word. stamp, that court Big order document. And, and to you, Sean right. Terry said... Sign over the title. If I could just sign over the title, it would have been done. That's that marriage has been, you she, know, done right. eleven years ago, and it's not that simple in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She has to come into the DMV yeah. with me, and uh, yeah. And, and guess what? You got to pay that five hundred. No, no, there ain't no five hundred. Yeah, it it no, it ain't. It's a hundred and some dollars. No, to change the title. To change the title. I did that shit recently, that shit dude. Is. I had the little box jutter. I had five. to sign over my title. I'm thinking I'm getting like what I the value yeah. of what I sold. Mm-hmm. So the oh, price, sold. and I had to pay. She $150. just refused to come in and dag on do that. And then on Unless top of that, as she, gift, she, she tried yeah, to yeah, make yeah, it yeah, look yeah, like she lives in Florida. She's a truck driver, so she tried to make it look like she lives in Florida. So she doesn't have to pay state taxes. She actually oh, yeah, lives in Georgia. Law. But does she have an address in Florida? Yeah, she no, yeah. she uses my address because oh. the car that she has is registered to my address. And I'm she just tr- I'm trying every angle I can. That's what it's I'm talking about right now. I, yeah, it's, let's it's let's, a let's do that motion. motion. I, know, I think you let's, need claim let's go through that motion. KB. <laughs> she be <laughs> there. She she you think she, I need be letting, what? she be letting Rodney dry that bit like no, he he need, bit. hold on bro he yeah. need to claim homeless <laughs> so he ain't got no address whatever bro Rome, no, don't stress really? cause Rome I ain't Rome doing ain't that I'm no a homeowner it's gonna, put, it gonna right. put a stop on a lot of shit but you claim homeless I you gonna my, get more shit I want my Dayton's back off that car hey on look, the tent I, I put in though LaShawn Terry if I knew where her house was which I can't get you know what I'm saying I would I would have been done all that. Hey, Free, KB, what up? I've been watching Dexter. Dexter can find any kind of. Thing. Well, I don't like what Dexter do when he find you. you know Absolutely, <laughs> chop chop, goddamn. <laughs> chop. All right, folks, let's go ahead and end this segment. We like to go ahead and thank our guest, Brianna. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Oh, oh, oh what, what uh, you got, Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. You know, every time we have a special guest on the show, you know, dun, 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 it doesn't come without reward. You okay. know what I mean? Oh, so we got right. a special gift for Miss Brianna. Dun. Yeah, so, you don't leave. Okay. I, gotta, I, gotta, you know, I see. I see her flexing the me, old gift. Let me, right let me, right. Right. So, yeah. let me, let me right. to the pull up. I to, um, yeah. my daughter's football game. Oh, she's chilly, but I wore to the game, and people was like, "Oh, yep. what you know about that?" I was like, oh, "I was a guest." Oh, but it's people out here that watch y'all. Wait, 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 Oh, yeah, to to but at my my daughter is the cheerleader for the West Orlando Jaguars. So oh, shout out to the West Orlando yeah, Jaguars. Yeah, yeah. So, sponsored by so, the Pillar Pocket. So before before y'all continue on with with this talk, <laughs> let me go ahead and pull this out what we got for today. You know, yes. you don't mind hey. if I show, show you gift? Right? No, I don't mind. 
All right, so we put the camera on you, bitch. So you know we have, you know, this can be for your hubby too. You know, turn it upside no, down. Sir. Did he call no, him no, a no. hubby? Oh no, yeah, this for your hubby too. Uh, you got two of them. Turn it, turn it around the you, other you, way. You know what I'm saying? Turn upside around, down. You got upside down. Uh, oh my upside bad. Down. You know, not you just, the you just put this pull up bonnet on, and that's it. Oh, it's a bonnet. Uh, oh, and that's it. It's a bonnet for real. Oh, it's yeah, a bonnet. And that's it. And that's it. That's all you have on. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, be like, yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. baby. Okay. Black nigga with baby. a bonnet on. <laughs> Thank you. Tell her, be hey, but yeah. don't get naked with that bonnet on. Hey. Sure, hey, come on, we. Me too. And need to let all y'all know. And anybody in the chat that needs a bonnet, yeah, how to get on K Bizzle? Hey, hey, you just go ahead and email us at the pull up podcast at gmail.com. That's the pull up podcast at gmail.com. But y'all, please don't wear them in public. Who? Yeah, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, thank so you. Uh, What's well, another topic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We want you to wear that. No. No. Don't wear it in public, but no. please wear it in public. I'm about that oh, life. <laughs> I'm about that right. Right. She said, Lord. "Don't wear it at Publix. Wear okay. to the <laughs> wear to the schoolhouse when you pick up your kids. Don't, don't, don't get and, that Publix chicken and, check, on. Now. And, get it and check it out. That that's for y'all dudes too. That's finding y'all some deep money. So I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Take them bunnies off. Hey, uh-uh. Don't let them people lay their hair uh-huh. They want to lay their goddamn hair Hey, you know what a, you know what a man <laughs> bonnet is It's a do-rag And I see you with a lot of it's, it's, it's a distinct wow. difference From the do-rag not, Hey, a do-rag and a bonnet uh-huh. Do-rag is the same as a bonnet I got dread I put, need a bonnet. Well, no, Mr. but Rihanna, we did. Uh, they, and they got a little roster. Right. Put a logo in the front of it. I so want to put a podcast bonnet. Okay. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? So we uh we just trying new things. Yeah. 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 So 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 Miss so Miss Miss B, when you put it on, just look at your make make you have your makeup on and all that. Then you just lay down in the bed and come, baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby. Hey, <laughs> bro, I said that's the same thing to her. And then take a wow. and then take baby. a selfie. And send it to us yeah. and we uh yeah make a promo. Okay. Yes, yes, please. Yes, God please. damn. Yes. That's make sure right. you wear it to the schoolhouse. Baby. No, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I can't. No, I don't do wear that. Wear it to the schoolhouse. Yeah. See, she's a real professional. Yeah, she yeah I don't. That. Y'all would never see me outside. Like she, see, she does not wear bonnets to public. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she ain't wearing it to the schoolhouse. <laughs> no. In the car loop line. I come my like, hair in the morning before I drop my daughter off the school. No. Ain't no rotation. Do you come at fast or slow? That's what I'm saying. You Stick your head slow, out the window with the time. pull up on. When you come with fast, you trying to rush. Hey, but you know what? I can be biased when it comes to that. I was at Walmart the other day. I'm and, talking about you. And then hold on, but what I'm saying. And then and then uh, a chick walked past me. She had a comb in her head, and I asked, "Where your bunny at?" <laughs> I wow. mean, she, she probably <laughs> cussed your ass out. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he, did. Brother, brother. he probably did because he'll, he'll do something like yeah. that. Hey, hey LaShawn hey, Taylor, you stop. right. She is hiding from me. <laughs> Blackout oh. say you was married to a mammy old school hustler. <laughs> wow. Not a damn old school hustler. Damn. Uh, he talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> With that car at. Hey. Where that car? Does your ex-wife um, own a house in Georgia? I know you've no, been she driving does not. my car to you to stole my car. that car? I might be. Uh, let, let's talk. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that car? Uh, uh, blackout Customs, um, move your L behind your S and your T. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Interested in advertising on the Pull Up Podcast? Have a great business you want to promote? We'd love to hear from you. Submit all information at the Pull Up Podcast 2021 at gmail.com. That's the Pull Up Podcast 2021 at gmail.com. Pull up.